Office of the Auditor General of the Federation says officials of the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources spent 14.5 million naira on the purchase of Shinda Bayros, 46 million naira to print the ministry's letterhead, and 56 million naira on toner for its photocopy machines. This was contained in the 2015 audit report submitted on Thursday by the Auditor General of the Federation to the Senate Public Accounts Committee. In the report, a total of 116 million was spent to procure stationery in one year. The report is currently under scrutiny by the Senate Committee led by Matthew Urogide, Senator representing Edo South. The contract for the supply of uh, Skinida Skinida Byros worth 14.5 million naira was split into smaller packages of less than 5 million naira each and was awarded to four different companies in order to circumvent the permanent secretary's approval threshold of 5 million naira. The Auditor uh, General of the Federation wrote in a query. Similarly, the contract for the printing of the ministry's letterhead what 60 46 million naira was also split and awarded to 11 different contractors also the contract for the supply of toners worth 56 million naira was split and awarded to seven different contractors the permanent secretary has been requested to explain this contravention of the public procurement act 2007 Responding to the query, Godwin Akubo, representative of the Petroleum Ministry, said the action of the ministry was a quick response to the needs of the various departments in the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. These awards followed normal rules and procedures, he insisted. The contracts were not split. They were awarded, they were awarded to the various contracts at different times when items were needed. The sum of 46.6 million naira used for printing of letterhead followed due process and the large sum of money is explained by the volume of the produced for most of the departments. The query was, however, sustained as the Senate Committee Chairman was discontented with the explanations given by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry. He asked the Committee Secretariat to document the money spent and asked for the refund from the officers involved in the ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Osh Daddy and Osh Grand Daddies, they are the ones at the end of affair. Uh, when they talk about the uh, Yahoo Yahoo boys, all those big men, they will come out to, <laughs> they want to talk like a um, responsible people too. They will be speaking, but they are the real, when you talk about the real tips, they are there. The issue of uh, NDDC, all the noise they made at the end of the day, what is the outcome? Nothing. Everything has been swept under the carpet. This one also will be swept under the carpet. And that's why this uh, particular group of people, the Senate, who is in, in charge of that particular um, field or that area, say just refund the money because the explanation does not tally with them. That is what we have been seeing. How, how much million naira? <laughs> uh, 116 million naira to buy pen, paper, and ink. Okay, correct. You are doing well. <laughs> I feel ashamed of this country. I thought Buhari government was not corrupt. God will not allow you to destroy this country before he will take you. Useless leaders. Sorry for the youth of this country. And Buhari is fighting corruption indeed. Over to you, Buhari. Abi, this is not fake news too. Some people did not even understand. Corruption um, is everywhere, but this happened 2015 during the last dispensation 2015 who says says who says so did Buari take over from 2016 or from 2015 may 2015 are you trying to exonerate him <laughs> what a country called nigeria efcc you they sleep of course they will sleep now now yahoo boys now they they, they, they flex their muzzle on <laughs> embezzlement will kill them all this is what the ones that we are hearing. Do you know the, the ones we are not hearing that they have sweat under the carpet? I'm sure if things do not go the way it ought to go, they will be bringing them out. But if they had said to them, even the ones that are saying, oh, just refund, if they had said to them, you think you are going to hear it. The real issue, the main stealing going on, it will not come out because party, party thing, they will say to themselves. 
when we say we have problem in this country, we say you have a hoodlums, you say you have a, a armed robbers going to threaten people here and there. Are these are no more than that? Are they no more than all of those things? All those people. Who? Why are they in shock? Are they not the same business partners? <laughs> um, so the the senate or whatever they are in shock, and now they are now this uh, they are in shock of what happened using one hundred and sixteen million naira to buy paper, ink, and and tuna, and they are shocked. Just like I said, do you know what has been happening behind the scene? It is when some people don't want to play, they don't want to play along, they will bring them out. <laughs> they will bring them out. Nigeria is funny. Uh, contract 16 million naira for Bayro alone. Chai, these people, eh? No get shame. Civil servants are the problem of this country, particularly directors and permanent secretaries. Some of them are richer than some state governments. Governments or governors. Jehovah will save this country. They will call this a Photoshop and fake news because it was not from the right source and they have not been able to tell us what the right source actually meant. Treasury looters, who is Petroleum Minister? Is he not President Buhari? You people should invite him for questioning. Lila, he will not go for questioning. It's too big. Who are you guys? Who are they to invite him? They have no right to invite him. <laughs> He's going nowhere. We have heard the news. What next? Absolutely nothing. The hula balu will die like an extinguished candle as relevant interests are settled. Now, so, end corruption, end Nigeria. If you still believe that Nigeria is poor, then you are the most gullible in this planet. What we lack is competent and disciplined leaders. How can you be in shock when we don't have electricity? What do you expect if money spends on the renovation of the National Assembly complex alone in billions? It's more than the old money spent on nation, national health in a country without a hospital. That is the lesson our area fathers are teaching their area boys. Don't be surprised. We have just seen the Photoshop of our political fathers. National Assembly should give the minister an award. The most corrupt government ever. You see, huh? You know, they see, so you see, from the existence of country till now, Nigeria can spend such a huge amount on stationery. Up APC appointment, 166 million years for Biro alone. These people deserve to burn to ashes. Oh my goodness. I never see this kind of thing. Oh. Hmm. 160 million era, 60 million era for what? Pen and paper to write the stole to stole to the stolen money in figures and ink to print it out in paper and submit to President Buari to approve it. Nonsense. Theft in this guys. The senator is crying for his own share of the loot. Don't know when was this. Ha when did this happen? You just continue uh, uh, writing what you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Whether they are they are from the past, or, and that is another avenue. If it's if really like some people are trying to justify, oh, it was in twenty fifteen. What of the ones that have been happening now? What are we talking about? See, so since since twenty fifteen. A lot of a uh, corruption cases that we've been seeing, the ones that are even displaying bullion vans in the open, it didn't happen in 2015. Oh. Even the so called guru of a uh, corruption, they didn't have that a uh, F1 tree to be flaunting that kind of amount of money or that kind of amount of behavior or that's a behavior in the open. But in this government, everything you know, everything is doable, everything is possible. And if really they are fighting corruption and it happened in the last administration, it would have been an avenue to be able to expose them the more, you know. Whether it's happened before, but those who are involved, if there's any form of a discrepancies or corruption, they should be dealt with. Who cares? Whether it happened before or it did not happen now. See the case of Mena. He, he escaped before under this present administration. He escaped again and he began to collapse when he was arrested and brought back. <laughs> now, wow, for, for Nigeria, 160 million. Some people say ordinary Bayrou. So, guys, leave your comments below and let's have your take on this. So,